Well, you may have noticed that skies were a bit hazy on Sunday, and some of that haze continues into today. KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith explains how our skies have been affected by far-off wildfires. The sky on this warm Monday afternoon is a little bit clearer than it was on Sunday, at least for the moment. As we go through the rest of the day and into the days ahead, we're going to be looking at a little bit more haze thanks to fires that are burning in northern Canada. But why is something that's happening so far away causing local issues? Wildfires in northern Canada and the western United States are a normal annual occurrence. But the last few years have seen record-setting seasons, mainly due to warmer winters with below-average snowfall. While the fires burn a very long distance away, the smoke plumes that result are enormous and travel across North America on the jet stream and the prevailing winds. These particles and pollutants in the smoke plumes are large, relatively speaking, and they can scatter shorter light wavelengths, especially blue and violet. Longer wavelengths, like red and orange, can pass through the smoke particles easily. This explains why the sky gets hazy and the sun looks more orange or even red around sunset on smoky days. It is also why we've seen those eerie videos of skies that look orange when the smoke has been thicker during more extreme wildfire events over the past couple of years. Thankfully, the smoke remains in the upper levels of the atmosphere, keeping our air quality in the green, at least for now. For KIMT Storm Team 3, I'm meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith. And Travis will continue this deep dive into how wildfire smoke affects our local area tomorrow when he tells us how and when the smoke can degrade the air quality.